Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting video by Edureka. In today's video, we will dive deep into LangChain, an innovative framework that makes building robust AI applications a breeze. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, LangChain simplifies the use of large language models by seamlessly integrating them into complex workflows. So, without any further delay, let's walk through our agenda for this video. But before we begin, please like, share and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest content on the Edureka YouTube channel. Also, check out our Generative AI course master's program, the link to which is in the description box below. Now, let's dive right in and explore agenda and how it is revolutionizing the AI development landscape. So here's what we will cover today. First, we will understand what LangChain is and why it's a, such a game changer for AI development. Next, we will explore the LLM application lifecycle and learn how LangChain facilitates its implementation. We will then discuss APIs, their role in enabling seamless communication between systems and how they power LLM models. Finally, we will showcase a practical LangChain project, an SQL query fetcher that demonstrates its real-world applications with detailed code explanation. So, this project will guide you through how it uses SQL queries effectively. So, Stick around for an engaging session. So, let's get started. Now, let us understand what LangChain is and why it is a valuable tool for building AI applications. You must be aware of popular applications such as GPT and Gemini. These applications utilize APIs and GPT uses OpenAI's API while Gemini operates through the Gemini API. To process prompts, they leverage models like GPT 3.5, GPT 4, Palm and Gemini 1. Additionally, these are other advanced models such as Llama, Gemini, Cohair, Cloud version 1, Falcon, Palm, GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. LangChain is a framework designed to help developers build flexible and powerful AI-driven applications by integrating and utilizing these diverse models effectively. But why exactly do we need LangChain? You must be thinking, if LangChain is this important, then why do we need LangChain? So let's break down this question using some real-world examples. So imagine simply asking an LLM a prompt and getting an answer. That's easy. But what happens when the complexity increases? For example, let's say you're working with data from SQL databases, CSV files, PDFs, or Google Analytics. And you need the model to write code, perform searches, or send emails. Handling such intricate workflows manually can get overwhelming. This is where LangChain steps in. It simplifies the process by offering components like document loaders, text splitters, vector databases, prompt templates, and tools. So this helps you assemble tasks such as document summarization, question and answer systems, or even advanced workflows like Google searches or customer support automation. Let's visualize this process with a diagram. Here's how it works. So first, you load a document like a CSV file using a document loader. Then, use a text splitter to divide it into a smaller chunks and then store those chunks into a vector database and add a prompt template to guide the model. And finally, use a LLM like a GPT-4 or Llama to perform tasks like searching the web or automating workflows. And LangChain also offers chains that will help you assemble components to achieve single task such as summarization and an agenda to figure out what each component must do like password, customer services, etc. Now that we understand LangChain's core components, now let's explore how it streamlines the LLM application lifecycle. So it typically involves three key stages. First is the development, where you build and test your application. Then productionization, where the system is fine-tuned for a real-world use. And finally, deployment where the final product is launched for users. So LangChain simplifies this life cycle, allowing you to focus on building without worrying about the underlying complexity. Now let's take a step back and understand the role of APIs in powering these LLM applications and how LangChain effectively integrates them. In all these applications and models, one thing is common, that is they use API. So now let's discuss APIs. APIs act as an intermediaries that enable different systems to communicate with each other. For example, they allow apps like Swiggy or Blinkit to display your delivery driver's location in real time. 
So now let's look at the steps to explain APIs and API keys. So apps like Zipto, Swiggy and Blinkit use APIs to show the location of your delivery driver. So these apps don't communicate directly with Google Maps but follow a layer process involving servers and security mechanism. First, the app sends a request to Google Maps API. Then, the API forward the request to Google servers. Then, the servers validate the request with the system. So once approved, the response follows back through the servers, APIs and finally to the app. So previously, apps like Swiggy allowed login using phone numbers. Now, they use API for login via platforms like Google or Facebook. So this demonstrates the versatility of a APIs in enabling seamless user interactions. To prevent misuse, APIs require API keys, which are unique identifiers for secure access. So these keys authenticate requests and ensure that only authorized users can interact with the APIs. Next, security systems closely monitor API usage to detect and prevent misuse. This ensures that APIs remain safe and functional for their intended purpose. And these steps simplify the explanation of how APIs and API keys work in real-world applications. So this is how LangChain leverages APIs to connect your LLM applications with external tools, making them versatile and secure. Now that we understand the role of APIs, so let's explore some real-world applications of LangChain. So what can you build with LangChain? Here are a few applications. First application we have is customer support. So customer support for your shopping websites to interact with customers. Next, conversational chatbots for helping you study. Content generation tools for blogs or social media. We also have question answering systems for knowledge bases and then document summarizers for legal or academic content. LangChain simplifies AI development by integrating LLMs with various data sources and tools. Its applications are vast from chatbots to document summarization. So, let's examine a practical example to see LangChain in action. Alright, in today's data-driven world, understanding and effectively using SQL queries is crucial for managing and analyzing large datasets. However, beginners and even experienced users often need help with complex SQL queries, their syntax and how they work. This creates a barrier to efficiently interacting with databases and limits their potential to solve real-world problems. To address this challenge, we propose a SQL Query Fetcher application that leverages the Gemini AI, Python and Streamlit to simplify SQL learning and usage. The application allows users to input or select a query, generates the SQL syntax and provides a detailed explanation of its components and functionality. This tool bridges the gap between technical understanding and real-world database operations empowering users with an initiative and interactive SQL learning experience. Let's jump right into the code. So the first step is setting up your dependencies. Here, we import Streamlit for the user interface and then Google Generative AI for using Gemini. So first, import Streamlit as ST and next, import Google.GenerativeAI as Gen AI. So to get this API, you have to go to the Google Gemini API key and here click on get a Gemini API key in Google AI Studio and then once you scroll, there is a button on the left called create API. Now click on it and select your model here and let's copy it and now let's go back to our VS code editor and paste it here. So to paste, let's type Google underscore API underscore key and inside the double quote, let's paste it. And now let's type gen AI dot configure and inside the bracket, let's keep it as API underscore key equal to and give it as Google underscore API underscore key. Now let's type model equal to gen AI dot generative model and inside the bracket let's keep it as Gemini Pro. So we use the Google Gemini API to generate SQL queries dynamically. So make sure to configure your API key securely. Now let's display the Streamlit layout code. Now let's set up the app's user interface. 
So we use Streamlit to create an interactive page where users can input plain English queries and get SQL code in return. So we write st dot set underscore page underscore config and inside the bracket let's give it as page underscore title and inside the double quotes let's give a title as edureka sql query generator and give a comma and let's type it as page underscore icon equal to and inside the double quote let's keep it as robot now let's put some images so i'm using edureka image and sql logo and also to make them center we will type it as column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 equal to st dot columns and inside the bracket let's keep it as 1 comma 2 comma 1 next let us type with column 2 colon and let's type it as st dot image and inside the bracket let's give the image address and then width is equal to 200 now let us add another image so let's copy the same and give the other image address our layout includes a title logo and text input box to keep the interface simple and initiative so here's where the magic happens so when a user clicks the generate sql query button we format their input into a prompt for the Gemini model to generate SQL code. So let's create template by writing template equal to and inside the triple quotes uh, let's type it as create a SQL query snippet using the below text. Next let us also give text input and we'll also type I just want a SQL query now let's type the response so type response equal to model dot generate generate underscore content and let's keep it as template dot format and inside the bracket let's give text underscore input equal to text underscore input and next let's type the sql query so give sql underscore query equal to response dot text dot so let's give the strip function dot l strip function dot r strip function so the ai generates the sql query and we clean up the output for display so once the SQL query is ready, we take it a step further by generating a sample expected output and a clear explanation of the query. Now let's type the logic for showing explanation and output. So let's type st dot markdown and inside the bracket we will give HTML tags. So first div style is equal to we will align the text in center. So text align center. And next, let's give h1 tag. And inside h1 tag, we will write SQL query generator. And let's close the h1 tag. Next, let's open h3 tag and write, I can generate SQL queries for you. And let's close the h3 tag. And inside the h4 tag, let's type it as with explanation as well. Now close the h4 tag and let's open the paragraph tag which is the p tag and inside the p tag let's type it as this tool allows you to generate sql queries based on your data now let us close the p tag also close the div tag now to make the markdown visible let us type unsafe underscore allow underscore html equal to true now let's write text input equal to st dot text underscore area and inside the bracket let's give it as enter your query here in plain english now let us give a submit button so for that let us type submit underscore button equal to st dot button and inside the bracket let us give 
generate SQL query. Now, if submit button colon write it with st dot spinner and inside the bracket let's keep generating SQL query and then let's create a template and inside the triple quotes let's type it as create a SQL query snippet using the below text. Now using the about template we will write three more templates for SQL query which are text input and then SQL query which will include expected output and also explanation output. Now to merge all the templates together we will make a container so we will write with st.container so it's a function and let us also write it as st.success and inside the bracket let us keep it as SQL query generated successfully. Also we will give here is your query below. Next st dot code and inside the bracket let us keep sql underscore query and comma language equal to sql now let us give once again st dot success and inside this let us keep it as expected output of this query will be and now let us keep it as st dot markdown and inside the bracket a output once again st dot success and inside this let us keep it as explanation of this sql query next let us give st dot markdown and inside this function let us keep it as explanation so over here this shows a green success message indicating the sql query was generated successfully and next the show sql query this displays the SQL query as a formatted code block highlighting it as a SQL. Next is the display expected output. So this provides a success message for the query's expected output followed by ST markdown E output which displays the expected output in markdown format. And followed by ST dot markdown E output which displays the expected output in the markdown format. So now this line of code introduces an explanation and st.markdown explanation displays that it is in markdown format for clarity. So this makes the tool valuable for both learning and debugging SQL. So now let's see it in action. So open the terminal and let us type streamlit run and give your file name. Now as you can see the screen your SQL query generator is ready to go. Now let's test it. So for that here I will input a prompt asking for a query which is give me the query for create table. Now let's click on generate SQL query and as you can see it's running. So let's wait for it to generate. So as you can see on the screen the app generates a SQL query expected output and even a plain English explanation in seconds. So how cool is that right? And that's it. Our SQL query generator powered by LangChain, Gemini API and Streamlit is complete. So this project is perfect for simplifying SQL learning and enhancing productivity. With this we have come to an end to this video on what is LangChain. And if you enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts or queries and we will reply to them at the earliest. Also, do look up for more videos and playlists and also subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. And happy learning!